Welcome to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> the real basement. <laughs> oh, literally, you feel me? He's, he's in his living room. He's in his he's living in room. room. We're in the real basement. I cancel him. We <laughs> <laughs> boo him. Bro, I'll be laughing like, what if you see this one day? <laughs> what, Tim? Yeah, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. It would be really fun, like, to be get, like, dual guest on his show. I definitely would. That I would thought be about really that before. Yeah. yeah. Got a lot to say here. Yeah. I put in the submission form before. I did too. I mean, told me to. Yeah. Yeah. But I was like, ah. I remember one time, bro, put humility check. I remember one time after I put it in, because I really had, I really wanted to be on. Yeah. And then I saw this other guy who who was like around our age and he got on. And I was like, I can get to be on. Like, he don't deserve to be on like I do. And, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Like, if that's the attitude that I, if I want to be on the basement so bad right now, then no, you don't get to be on the basement. <laughs> You're right. And I don't need Tim Ross to tell me no. Right, right, right. <laughs> because right. I knew I in that told, moment, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I'm, I need to relax. Relax. Like, yeah. I wanted it too, too bad. bad. You know, I still yeah. want it. Now I know I want it like cool. But back then, I, I wanted to be way too bad. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, that's crazy. Sorry, hey, sorry, yeah, hey, real quick. Sorry, hey, sorry, hey. And the bull had a great. And then the bull had a great. Yeah, great. A Wait, great which one was it? Um, the bull with the music, with Latino music. No, it was a black guy, um, young guy. He was like a. Uh, he was a pastor. Was a, I'll find it. I'll find it. But it was like it was a little bit ago. This was like some months ago, and he was like a youth pastor for a little while. Welcome back to the third chair, everybody. You already said that. No, I didn't. Uh-huh. Oh, that's... Are we not keeping the stuff in there? That stuff. The other stuff we just did. It was funny. <laughs> we can keep it. I'm like, I still wanted to do... You gonna welcome again? Okay. okay. I just... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna get off. <laughs> what? I don't want to do it no more. <laughs> just, nah, do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to the third chair, everybody. Nah. <laughs> Dang, I messed you up, bro. <laughs> Welcome back to the third chair. Uh, my name is Ryan Adams, as everyone <laughs> knows. It's like, nah. <laughs> this is my main man, Joshua Hall. That's me. Um, today, we wanted to discuss something that I kind of think about often by myself and kind of talk to him about sometimes and kind of talk to my girlfriend about sometimes. But I wanted to talk about believing in your prayers when you pray them. Like, mm. do you just pray and then just, are they just words? Or are they words that are backed by faith? Like, you feel me? Because if they're not backed by faith, then where is the power to your words? I don't know. You feel me? Yeah. Because at that point, if we're just saying words, then what are we relying on? We, are we, am I relying on my words? Or am I relying on God? Why well, pray a prayer if you're not going to... If you're not going to believe it. Believe that it could be answered. Exactly. You feel me? Like, let's see. Because you know how back in the day, like... When Jesus was walking around, walking around performing like all crazy, crazy type of miracles yeah. I mean, on the spot. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, get up, walk. Oh, you dead? <laughs> Yo, no, you're not. You sleep. You feel me? Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> all, all this stuff. And obviously, it's the same God like today. Like, that stuff could really be happening right now. Yeah. Is it a problem that we're not believing, like, that he can actually do it? Do we have too much doubt in our heart for him to actually perform these miracles sometimes? Uh, I think so. And I think also, too, like, part of, but like, what we don't realize about those situations where God is working those miracles is the level of desperation that was in those people. Mm, and not yeah. just that they were desperate, they acknowledged it about themselves and were not ashamed to say it. Like, that, like they didn't necessarily say they were desperate, but desperation is pushing your way through a cloud, a crowd to get healing. I was just thinking about that. Before we even started, I was thinking about that same girl, that same situation. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's desperate. She does not care. We're talking about, um, I don't know what her name the was. The woman with the, the issue of blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was sitting She was sitting outside a church at first, I think. Or so, outside of somewhere. I don't know, but she was sitting. She was sitting. she heard Yeah, Jesus that Jesus was, was coming. Near. Yeah. She made her way. Yeah, made her way to <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, literally. And you know, you know what's crazy? I was listening to some, it might have been Tim Ross who yeah. said it. And he, yeah, okay. And he was talking about how he, she, he, she had to, um, she would have had to get up earlier. Mm-hmm. Like, had to make her journey earlier because she was so, like, weak. Yeah, disabled also and yeah. all that. Weak and everything. Really, like, she, her blood wouldn't... Basically, when you had... Like, the issue of blood that she had was her blood. It's like when you... um Imagine if I got a paper cut and I didn't stop bleeding. Right, 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 right. Like, her blood wouldn't clot enough so that she could not bleed. Oh, that's... Oh, dang. Uh-huh. Oh, that's crazy. Uh-huh. Oh, how do you survive off that? I don't know. Dang, that's crazy. 
So when she made it Jesus anyway, she touched his robe and she was like automatically healed. And Jesus automatically put the power. He turned around and he was like, yo, like who just touched my robe? And the disciples are all like, Jesus, literally is thousands of people around you. Like, what do you mean who touched you? Like, I don't know who touched you. Like, you don't know who touched you. Just keep on moving. <laughs> and Jesus was like, nah, I felt some power leave my robe. Someone touched me. The girl came forward. She was like, it was me. Cause she noticed that it was, she was instantly healed. And she was like, I was the one to touch you. Jesus was like, you have been healed today because of your faith. Mm. Because of your faith. Yeah. She believed that she was going to get healed. So if Ooh. she touched, mind you, the same power is in Jesus. The same, yeah. the same healing power. Touched the same, bottom of Jesus, his claw. Jesus is Jesus. You feel me? He has the power to do all things, all and all that. The same, if she didn't believe that the power that was already on him could heal her, she wouldn't have been healed. And peep this, bro. She didn't pray a prayer. She didn't. She, she believed he could heal her. That is why when she grabbed, it happened. Yeah. Not because she was like, Jesus, do you think you could? Nah. She had that belief going into it. Oh, she was like, like, Jesus, this this is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, do you know what he can do? Mm Mm-hmm. And she... That's crazy. And I kind of, I had this um, talk with my guys in, in Bible study the other day. Like, I kind of was like, maybe, wait, maybe, maybe some of the, uh, like, the principles and rules that God set up, they work kind of like, um, like auto pay off your card. Mm. Like, for example, you remember uh, that time in the book when David went back and they recovered the Ark of the Covenant from, like, their enemies and they were bringing it back. And the and, guy got died? Yeah, it fell off the cart and the guy touched it and he, he died. Yeah. Like, and people were like, God, how could you? And he's like, well, I already kind of set the rule up, so I can't really do anything about it now. It's like, he touched now. it. It's like, yeah. I don't have to actually act on it. This is a truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a rule that I set up however long ago, so when you break the rule, this is what happens. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have to do anything to activate the consequence. Mm-hmm. And I think it's similar right now. Like, her belief <laughs> was what activated it. Jesus didn't, like, he even know about he didn't it. perform yeah. it. You feel me? Yeah. It just happened. Just ha- yeah, exactly. So that leads me to believe, like, yo, this is truth. This is law. Right. When your belief is that strong. Right. Not necessarily, like, that God answers your prayer, but the belief that he could mm-hmm. if he wanted to or if he chose to. Mm-hmm. Like, he could do it. And you know what's crazy? Because, like, that means she she, she had no doubt in her heart. Like, mm-hmm. there's no way. Because nah. that goes to the Bible verse I was just, that I was just talking to you about. Um, is it Mark or James? It's a, I think it's right here. Um, I know one was James. Yeah, right here. James, no, Mark 11, 23. It says, okay, I'll start from 22. It says, then Jesus said to the, to the disciples, have faith in God. I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. But you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you received it, it will be yours. The key word was believe and have no doubt in your heart. You feel me? Yeah. So if she wait, what were we just talking about before I said that? How the her faith is what activated the blessing. We like, still talk about the girl. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, because I said if she would have had doubt in her heart, if she would have mm-hmm. had doubt in her heart, there's there's no way that like I don't think that it would have fully happened. Because I think her doubt would have overcompensated for her oh, belief. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And since the like the verse I just said, like, says remove all doubt from your heart and it will happen. I think that's exactly, that's an acting out of, yeah. of that verse. What I commend her for and also find it, like, really hard to do is, like, like remove doubt, <laughs> like, from mm-hmm. my heart. I don't know about y'all. I'm the type of person that puts a word to the test. You feel me? I had a trophy. I told you about this. I had a trophy and it was, like, a little track man and he was like this. <laughs> he had like a little mouth, little face, and everything. I this one. And I, I put it. I, I, just, I just got to read this verse actually. And I was like, I look tell up. Him how, tell him how old you were. This like like a few months ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 12, 23. <laughs> but I, and it's crazy because I was reading my Bible. I was on my phone like this, reading my Bible, and the trophy is right in front of me. I read that verse. I was like, <laughs> yeah, so right, just, right at the trophy. So just like, hold on. Just imagine like the trophy is like the camera. Okay. I'm going to start okay. In my head, I'm like, then Jesus said to the disciples, have faith in God. I tell you the truth that you can say to this mountain may be lifted up and thrown into the sea. Dang. Oh, let me give you some room. That's a, let me give you some room. There you go. Go ahead. Dang, that's a lot of faith. And it will happen? Dang. But you must really believe it. It will happen and have no doubt in your heart. No doubt. Incredible. 
I have a beef like that before? <laughs> what was you doing? Oh, you want okay. Set him up. I believe you. I read your word, and your word says this. I believe you have redoubt my heart. Help me move without my heart, God. Oh God, I win. Let let your will be done. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, I command you to, to talk to me. In the name of Jesus, I command you to move your lips and speak to me right now. I don't care if that you're an inanimate object. I pray that you hey, 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 what you doing over there, Ryan? I'm Mr. Trackman. How you doing? <laughs> but I was really, I was really, you feel me? I was, I was, you know how people would be casting out demons and all that? Yeah. I was in that room causing a ruckus. <laughs> Ten minutes straight talking. <laughs> I'm sweating. My hand. Sweating? I probably was. I, was, no, I, was, I commend I was, you, bro. I was in there. I'm not going to lie. I was, I, was, I was praying really hard. I was Go ahead, like, dog. I was like this. So you know, speak about. to me. You feel me? Now, the, you know, the two fingers like your mom, like, like your dad. Oh, my like mom this. didn't do that one. Then my dad used to break this all the time. No, I didn't get that one. But anyway, <laughs> my, <laughs> my, my, what? <laughs> my dad used to play that to me. Oh, no, I thought, never mind. I, I put the word to the test. It didn't work, it did. if anyone's wondering. But I really did believe that it would work. And it's crazy because I thought that I had removed all the doubt from my heart. But also in the back of my mind, I was, was also like, this is it's crazy. Like, yeah, yeah no. Nah. You know? But it doesn't. Can we? Well, dare. It doesn't mean that it's not crazy. It doesn't. It is pretty crazy. Yeah. For your trophy to talk? Could it be? that maybe it's hard for us to doubt because we think if something is crazy, then it means that God can't do it. Hmm. Like, what if, hey, God, can you make it rain strawberry milk? Would that not be crazy? That would be crazy. Could God do it? Yeah. So maybe we, we one of the reasons we lack the ability to really fully believe it's because we think it's just because something is crazy, it means that God can't do it. I feel that. Because in my case, I'll, I acknowledge the fact that, that, that it was crazy. Mm -hmm. But I also did acknowledge the fact that God can do this. God is I God. Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I fully believe that 100%. I think my problem was I didn't believe that. Well, I questioned whether he would do it for me in this moment. <laughs> That's why I started mm -hmm. questioning. Why? You feel me? Because I was like, the way that me and God's relationship is kind of right now. <laughs> right now. Why you start telling that to him like a Kevin Hart joke? Because <laughs> like, that's, that, 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 that's how it is. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be asking God for things sometimes and, like, you know, he just, he just don't say nothing back. You know, how do you it. feel about that? I'm not gonna lie. The other month, I was super frustrated. I was, it was the first time that I felt frustrated with God. I was like, dang, do I feel frustrated with God? I mean, it's crazy though. Because I was like, I was in my head, like, do I feel frustrated with God right now? I was like, why am I frustrated with God? Like, he literally, he's in the right. Like, I'm in the wrong. Mm. <laughs> it's not, not even that I'm in the wrong. I'm just feeling my emotions. That's, that's why I was like, okay, it's okay to feel my frustration and everything. So I'm going to, I told God, I was like, I know you're right. Mm -hmm. But I want to let you feel my, I want to speak my mind, like, anyway, just get off my, mm. off my chest and everything. Yeah. So, you know, I went through my whole process, told God what I was frustrated about and everything. And I told him I feel like he's not talking to me. He was only talking to me through like other people or whatever it would be. And I can't tell whether it's him. Why won't you just give me like a, a blunt sign that if right. I ask for like a bird to fly across my window a certain amount of times, which I which I did ask for that. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> but did that shake your belief in God? No, nah, I didn't shake anything. I was just like, I guess God's not trying to talk to me like this right now. So I was just like, all right. Why? Why do you think you could be so secure in that moment just because he didn't like he didn't answer the prayer? So why what makes it so you can still be secure in your belief that God is who he says he is and that he's there for you? Because I have past experiences. <laughs> uh -huh. I have a girlfriend who was not Christian, who did not nothing want anything. Not even not she didn't want anything to do with God, but she definitely did not know God. She was a whole different person when I had first met her. And to the person that she is like right now, I prayed for specific things. It was like five, six things, specific, very specific things mm. to change in her if it was God's will. All of those things changed within like three months. And then I had wow. another list of things that were like another five, three things <laughs> specific. And you never told her those things? I did. 
after okay. I, after they were done. I was like, but oh, did, did you notice that after they were done? Yeah, and by this time she was already like becoming like a Christian also and all that, and she like she I think she was already saved and everything. So and this is this is before she was even my girlfriend. And this is when we were, we were, we were just like, hanging out a lot and everything. But yeah, I told her and everything, and she was like, yeah, I didn't notice that. And I was like, yeah, I I asked God <laughs> to like change yeah. these things. And I don't remember what she said to that, honestly, but she was probably like, really? Wow. <laughs> like, you feel me? That's what's up, bro. Yeah. Like, you're, that's key. You got to remember, you can't forget yeah, that, what I, God has done. And that's, we see that in the Old Testament. Every time that they go through something, God commands them to get a souvenir of that time period hmm. so that, and then set it up somewhere. For example, like when they came out of the promised land and they crossed the Jordan, when they crossed over, he told them to get like, uh, I can't remember he told, I can't remember if it was big or small, but he told them to get a rock that they could set up in their homes. So when their children ask, what is that? They could tell them about the time their God dried up the Jordan so they could cross over mm. into the promised land. I think I remember that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Remembering, remembering. I think and that, that, that's a big thing that plays into belief to be able to like remember. Because if, like, for example, if that situation had happened where I'm praying for the braids to cross and I didn't have any thing to remember of mm-hmm. like God being God like back then, then I could have just been like, you know what? Are would you, you would you even remember that time God made the birds pass by? Like what were you praying? Like why did you want that to happen? I was like so desperate to hear God's voice. And it was in the season just this season. <laughs> it was this season actually. <laughs> it was this season. <laughs> yeah. Because I was um um I think I was praying about I was just praying about life. And I, I'm always talking to God about like my source of incomes. Um, because like I make money from social media, but it's not nothing I can live off of. And I was asking him, I was asking him to provide, and I was I was really just asking him, say, like, bro, why are you not like talking back to me? Because I've I know you you've talked back to me before. You're not mm-hmm. always like this. The only other time that he's been like this was when um I was in college and it was my senior year, and it was like three months, and I just I felt so far from God, not because of me, because I was really I was going to Bible study, I was doing all these things. Do my best to be close to God. I just felt distant from him because he wasn't chatting back to me. You yeah. feel me? So, and I had the conversation with my uncle. He basically said, um, like, when God's quiet, like, he's working harder for us in, in the spirit mm. realm. And I was like, that makes sense. But at the same time, you're, you're God. If you see, if, if I'm a father and I see my son crying out to me, I'm going to be like, yo, I'm still here. You feel mm-hmm. me? But then I started thinking about it. Um, you know, God's thoughts are above our thoughts and everything. God speaks to his ways are above our ways. So again, everything, God's never in the wrong. If anything, I'm either in the wrong <laughs> or I'm just not seeing what God's trying to show me. Yeah. So I was like, okay, God's speaking to me, but I'm just not seeing how he's speaking to me. Yeah. So that's why I started going like the, the social media fast. Mm. I started, um, I just did like my first like like foolish fast like last week or something like that. That joint that when I started eating again, my roots in my mouth like hurt. Actually, oh snap! Yeah, because I guess I haven't used those muscles and like got sensitive. Two days, it was. It was yeah. My first meal wasn't that enjoyable as I wanted it to be, but yeah. even my second meal either, or my third one. Bro, <laughs> it goes to show you, like, I don't know when I did that fast at the beginning of the year, the, that hard one. The one that yeah, I remember. Really hard, um, it changed the way that I thought about food. Like when I was on the fast, I wasn't eating things that really tasted great, so I literally was only eating so that I wasn't hungry. Yeah. And so, like, it just changed my perspective. It's a different experience. Yeah, it's a good one though. But, but um, <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know about what he would say. Uh, yeah, I I was I was just so desperate, desperate to hear his voice. Um, I just feel like he wasn't. We we didn't have that. We had the relationship, but he just wasn't. He was wasn't talking to me. Yeah, and I was like frustrated. <clears throat> I was like, bro, talk to me. I mean, and that just happens sometimes. Like we have good friends. Like me and you don't talk every day. Yeah doesn't mean that like I'm not thinking about you or that I might not be you know like spreading your name in rooms that would be beneficial for you yeah it just means that me and you haven't had a conversation about it right and like I think I don't know God understand us but he also was God so he understands what we need better than we do yeah so we might feel like we need God's communication more frequently, but he knows what we actually need. Mm -hmm. So in his mind or whatever, I don't know, again, we're talking about God. So a human trying to explain and understand God, bro, like we try our best, but he's God. So how could I 
full, like, anything that I say about God that makes even a little bit of sense is a work of God. Yeah. Because I'm a human being with very finite, finite information, and I have finite language. So anything, like, me trying to explain God is already like, yeah, good luck, buddy. Yeah. He said his thoughts are literally as far as the heavens are from the earth. Like, and we, have you ever seen the heavens? I've never seen space. <laughs> <laughs> like, I haven't. So it's I don't even know how many pants there are. You feel me? I, it's got to be pretty far. There's galaxies I don't know about. Like, yeah, I don't, and I don't even look into it. It's out there. You feel me? <laughs> Somewhere. So, <laughs> all that yeah. to say that God, like, <laughs> God is God, obviously. Yeah. So, like, when we're praying to him, we have to be aware of everything that he is actually capable of and not try to put our human limits yeah. onto him. We can't project that because now we're prohibiting ourselves we're prohibiting the things that he actually wants to do for us. But yeah. if we don't believe that's going to happen, then why is he going to do it? And that was, in all, not all cases, but like... Yeah, no. And so let's get into that now, too. Because, like, um, we had this conversation kind of the other day. We were talking about, what, like, all the... Con- like, <laughs> well, what about this? And what about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would God answer this kind of prayer and not that kind of prayer? And one of the things we kind of came away from the conversation was, like... Uh, my goodness. If I am, if I've submitted prayer to God and he doesn't give me what I what I prayed for, we got to, and I, actually I think you kind of already said this, we have to trust that it's because God knows a different reason that we don't know. Yeah. So if I pray for something and, and I don't get it, my response shouldn't be, oh, God isn't real or like, or God doesn't love me or whatever, you know, I might emotionally feel Feel. as a response, I have to override that emotional response with my God is a good father. Yeah. My God has my best interest at heart. Yeah. My God loves and cares for me, does not leave or forsake me. So this answered prayer, this unanswered prayer is not the end. And matter of fact, the answer he gave like, not answering is an answer. So maybe the answer he gave me wasn't the one I was looking for, but it is the one that my life needs. Yeah. Like, uh, when Jackie Hill Perry was on Tim Ross's pod, mm. and she talked about not growing up with her father. Mm. I'd imagine somewhere along the, long, along the line, she might have prayed that her father would be brought back into her life during her childhood. Mm. That didn't happen. Mm-mm. And then she went on to say that one time God was like, yeah, I did you a favor by keeping him out of your life. Right. And she couldn't believe that God actually would have brought him back into her life. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like completely and fully. And she even said, she was like, yeah, that him probably being in my life probably would have hurt me more. Yeah. And made me have to deal with more trauma. Yeah. And But we don't think about that because we think that what we're, we don't understand all of what we're asking for when we present the question a lot of times. Mm-hmm. Like, say, oh, I wish we could just, like, I'd be like, bro, let's just move. I wish we just lived together. Mm. And then not knowing, like, that I like, you'd, you'd be like, yeah, cool. And you don't know I listen to punk music 12 hours a day at night at 100 volume. 100 volume is so crazy. And it's like, right. And it's like, well, dang, if I would have known that, I wouldn't have prayed <laughs> I for it. I never, but you yeah, didn't know that. Right. But, but God did. Right. God? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> he knew. Yeah. So, like, just trust that he really has your best interest at heart. You know, that's all we can really do. Yes, that's really all it is. Heart posture. Heart posture. Yeah, like I said, that's up to all about the heart posture. You know, it's what it is. Yeah. But, yeah, that, it's at that point, sometimes, like, even though you believe all the, all, like, all the way completely and fully. That's why I said in the video, too. If Well, that's not really with this. I'll go back to that. Um... Okay, I'll say it right now just so I don't, yeah. so I don't forget. Um, I was going to say, you can believe something completely and fully when you pray for it, but if it comes from a bad spot in your heart, like if it comes from a spot of pride in your heart, that God's not going to grant that prayer, obviously. I think you should read the scripture. Which one? The one from Mark. Uh, wait, wait that, you mean the James one? With the wavering? Yes, from James. Because that, yeah. James 1, 6 through 7. Watch, y'all. You're going to sell how this scripture literally is like almost exactly what he just said. It says, <clears throat> okay, but when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God and God alone. 
Do not waver for a person with divided loyalty is un as, as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Their loyalty is divided between God and the world, and they are unstable in everything that they do. Mm. Mm. And when you say that, the importance of having faith in God... Okay, start over. When God says have the prayer can be answered when you have faith in God and God alone, that's not because he's like, oh, well, why are you loving them the same way you love me? Yeah, he cares about that. But he's saying that because if you have your faith in multiple things, or to put it in another way, when you have your eggs in more than one basket, you can then say, oh, I wasn't successful because of God. Right. I was successful because of this. Right. And when that is like, oh, my, I don't have joy because of God. I have joy because I have a great relationship with my girlfriend. Right. What happens if you guys go through like a rough patch? Yeah. I'm not even saying y'all break up. Let's say like y'all still love each other the same. And y'all don't, you don't got to question the love, but things just ain't quite the way they used to be. And neither one of you can figure out why right now. Mm -hmm. You still have joy? Right. And so what you, if you start to depend on things that aren't God, then when those things work for you, you're going, every time something works for you that isn't God, you double down on it and put a little more weight on it each time. Mm -hmm. And then you'll give it the credit that God deserves. You'll, you'll do that. And be as a result of that, you'll give it a task that has too much weight for it to bear. Mm -hmm. Like even us being boys, our relationship can bear a certain amount of weight. Mm -hmm. But if you were to start turning to me for stuff that you turn towards God, we probably wouldn't be friends anymore. <laughs> yeah. Because like I would be frustrated, you would be frustrated. Yeah. And then we lose the relationship mm -hmm. because we put too much weight on it. Yeah. But if we're like, if you're like, every time I have a conversation with Josh, like, I feel better about myself, and you see it as me and not God being able to speak to you through me, then you'll depend on me again. And every time you have a problem, you'll lean on me. Mm -hmm. And every Because it worked when we were talking about, dang, bro, I had a bad day at the gym. It worked when we were talking about, hey, bro, uh, I don't know what I want to do about X, Y, or Z. But when you're bringing, and then you're like, yo, it works for that. Let me bring this to him. No, 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 don't bring that to me because that might, like, I don't know if I'm going to get to heaven or not. Or, God, I don't know what to do with my life. What's my purpose? Yeah. Don't ask Josh that question. <laughs> I don't got the answer. Yeah, right. But so don't let the past successes of things that were less significant fool you into thinking that I can handle what God can handle. Right. And that's why it's important, like, when you do pray to have your, yeah, that, like the verse says, have your faith in God and God alone. Yeah. And everything. It's like, look. I can do one plus one and two plus two, but I can't do whatever math God do. <laughs> no, facts. <that's, that's laughs> He's just a, different. The other verse, too. And Mark... Oh, he, he reads the Bible. <laughs> you Google them. <laughs> <laughs> Mark eleven twenty four. is it? Um, it says, I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that, it, that you received it, it will be yours. But obviously, like, believe in God. Yeah. That you, yeah. And again, this, like, this is something we talk about. We haven't talked, I don't know if we talked about, we haven't talked about salvation yet, right? I don't think so. No, nah, we've we've talked about it, but not, not talked yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so this is an area here, those scriptures show you, you can't, you can't just take one or the other. You need both. Right. Or all three or however many it is. When the Bible talks about something one time, go look to see how else it talks about that same topic. Yeah. Because what you'll find is they often balance each other out. So we see one scripture says, oh, if you had enough faith, you could, you could move a mountain. You could ask a mountain to move and it would move. And the other scripture says, have faith in God and God alone. Because mm -hmm. if I'm like, God, move that mountain so I can show my friends that, I, that, that you cool. You're not moving that mountain. Right. That's for you. Right. That don't got nothing to do with oh God. Yeah. Like you just doing that out of spite and out of pride. God. Please bring that most that girl, my Instagram crush, into my life because she is so fire, and she would give me so much more followers. People knew I was dating her, and she probably 
She probably really knows you doing it. <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> yeah. he's not answering that prayer. Yeah. <laughs> Why would he answer that prayer? <laughs> right. So y'all can have premarital sex? Right. And then you lose her anyway? Oh, dang. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I feel like, you. What if he do answer that? Like, yeah, go ahead, have her. Hmm. And then she, oh, oh, or 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 worse. You got her, and she, and she it turns out she actually loves you more than you love her, mm. because you never thought of her as a person. You thought of her as object, as a, as right dog. Why should God? Oh man, especially because a lot of times God answers our prayers through people. Yeah, like I think about my Bible study group. God answered a prayer for me through them. Okay, through you. Okay, like. You guys helped me so much with my walk of God. I didn't know my answered prayers were going to come through you. Yeah. So if we know one of the ways God answers prayers is through people, why would God answer my prayer through the form of a person that I am going to mishandle? That's the um. What back to the verses talking about st- um storing, story, being a good steward over what God does give you, yeah. and if God doesn't give it to you and you prayed for it, maybe you're not a good steward over it. What you have right now. Right. Yeah. Why Why should God trust you to steward over someone he loves? If His you're daughter. Not... <laughs> yeah, it's more than just someone he loves. It's this family. Yes. It's kinfolk. You feel me? Talk about it, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like, would you give your daughter to somebody like me? <laughs> <laughs> like, you feel me? Nah, you nah. shoot that fool. I'm like, I'm not... <laughs> I wasn't gonna say all that. No, nah, like 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 bad boys. <laughs> uh, ah, <laughs> like yeah, you would, yeah, okay, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You, would, you would pull up like, uh-uh. Yeah, right. You wouldn't have that. I'm like, bro, I know you, bro. Like, and on a side note, I think because in the future we got to talk more about like the responsibility of a man. The the way we can make sure our daughters don't get crossed up with guys like that is by making sure we are not those guys and not tolerating those guys around us. And also loving the daughters, like showing them what like you know that's what my dad did with my my sister, and he made that like very. He always said too as she was growing up like. I love you a certain way and I show you, I play with you and I kiss you and all this and all that and do all these like lovey-dovey things with you because I want you to not have to seek another man to get the things that, you, that your dad didn't provide mm-hmm. for you type of thing. Like, mm-hmm. You feel me? So now, now like you're able to weed out um, if someone wants you just for like yeah. your body or if someone just wants yeah. you just for like physical attention or yeah, anything that's emotional needs or whatever. Like, you feel me? Yeah, If bro. your dad fulfills really all of those roles, then you don't have to look anywhere else for it. I talked to a friend about that the other day. I said like the roles of father and a husband, they have like if, they, if the roles of father and a husband had a Venn diagram, there would be some things that are unique to a father, unique to a husband. But in the middle, there is a, there's a good amount of overlap. Right. Between what they do. Yeah. And the same goes for a mother and a wife. Yeah. They each have things that are unique, but they also have a lot of overlap. And so how you're saying, like, if our daughters or our sons don't aren't getting enough from that middle part of the Venn diagram from their parents, they're going to be seeking it in romantic relationships. And they're not even going to know that's what they're after. Yeah. And when you are, oh man, when you are seeking from a place of necessity, because those are things that you need, Mm -hmm. it makes it harder to make good decisions Mm -hmm. because you're out for a basic need. All questions, and then this trend, you can see this easily when we answer questions about morality. Would you steal food to feed your family? Mm -hmm. I want my family to eat. I want them to have a basic need. So guess what? Stealing doesn't doesn't matter to me right now. Right. I want love. It's a basic need. Right. So yeah, he hits me a little bit. Well, yeah, I feel you. It don't matter right now though. But nobody else is giving me that kind of love. Yeah. Yeah, she she talks to me kind of crazy. Yeah, she puts me down about my manhood and stuff. Yeah, right. But she slide them yams. Yeah. But she she tells me she loved me. Yeah. I when you put a when you are bargaining for a basic need, you will always lose. You will always compromise where you should not have. Facts. 
Long story short, love your daughters, love your sons. We can go to snap to that. I'll snap to that one. <laughs> that was a good one. That's. I think we could, we could probably could dig into that. On we, yeah, day. that could be another day. Yeah. I was gonna say like a lot of times people in my comments, um, they bring up like obviously they're beginning their relationship with God and everything, and a lot of people is like say kind of like what I say sometimes like I be praying to God. Well, no, I don't. Well, I'm gonna say what they say. They say I be praying to God and I be reading my Bible also and all that. And um, I'm doing all these things, but like I still feel far from God and all and all that. So now I'm thinking, since we're on the, the topic of like prayer and everything, um, when you pray to God, because like if you pray to God, and if you're far from God, like we like how we had said, a person who is who doesn't have like relationship with God, he's God, he's not more likely to answer that prayer. I don't even know how to say it. How do we even say it before we had so said it? We said if Say, like, I'm somebody who knows God. I've been following God. And I pray for something that maybe I don't, like, God, and I, when I put that prayer up, God is like, no, nah, you don't really need that, though. And he doesn't necessarily communicate that to me. And then I'm like, but God, why are you not answering? God, you're not real. Me doubling down and, like, kind of speaking in God about God in ways that he is not, it's not going to make him more likely to answer that prayer. Yeah. Because he's like, nah, bro, you need to figure this out. You need to be able to know I am who I am and I love you if I don't give you everything that you want. Yeah, but we had said something about a person who doesn't know God. Oh. And they cry out to God. And we were, we, we like he, I don't want to say he's more likely to answer that prayer, but there was something about like, even if they had like some, maybe it was if they had more doubt in their heart than the person who knows God and had The mission is had different. Less doubt. Yeah, the mission is different. The mission is thing. different. Like, like for somebody who doesn't know God, He's like, he's trying to introduce himself to them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rather than it's like, well, you know me. Yeah, yeah, you better, yeah. You better get it together. Right, right, right. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, that, Talk literally. crazy about me. Yeah. Who got you the last thing you prayed for? Right, right, right. Okay, cool. Okay, I don't remember why I brought up the people, but I think I was busy just talking about that. But <laughs> bottom line, <laughs> believing in everything that you pray for, like, without doubt, I always feel like it, it's... It's a tricky thing. Like, you ever pray for someone who's who's sick and everything? Yeah. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. my church sometimes, there'll be somebody sick. Recently, actually, someone was sick, and the pastor, like, laid hands on them and had everyone, like, pray for them, basically, mm -hmm. and everything. I was like, yo, she about to be healed right now? Oh, yeah, I be doing that, too. You feel me? Yeah. Like, and I be thinking, I was like, yo, this might be my first time, like, seeing it. Yeah. And then when she's not healed and she's still, like, limping around, whatever she was doing, like, in my head, I'm going to be like, okay, well, maybe God's going to heal her throughout the week. Maybe she's not meant to be healed. Mm -hmm. Like, all these other scenarios. Someone who doesn't know God, it could be their first time in church. Their God's not real. Yeah. Like, you feel me? But maybe if that guy was in the church, God would have, the mission's yeah. different now. Maybe he would have. Yeah, maybe he would have because the mission's different. Now you got to see that I'm actually real. Mm -hmm. you, this, this, is, this was the only way to get you. This yeah. was the only reason that, why you here. Yeah. You feel me? That's that's a good point, bro. Yeah. Like, it's, it's so, it's so complicated trying to... Like, even trying to explain it. Even just trying to... Because mm -hmm. people always ask me questions. <laughs> like, you know? People always ask, like, they're like, I got the answer for everything. I don't got the answer for nothing. You but, know? But you are clearly someone who spends time with God. So no, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So they're like, who better to ask? I understand why they do yeah. it. You know? And I always try to revert them from me to God. Like, before, um, when I was getting, like, I still got a lot of DMs. Like, now nah, I just stopped answering them. Mm-hmm. It's it's just too many of y'all. If y'all want to talk to me, y'all gotta book me. <laughs> it's 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 in my my link in my bio, yeah, bro. But because he still needs time, you need time for myself with and God. I, it's 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 so, it's so many yeah. of y'all. But people always ask me questions, and when I was answering them, I would go ahead and give them my advice. But then if I see that they come back to me, oh, should I revert them like, mm -hmm. to God? I'm like, yo, yeah. Like, don't don't just keep coming to me. Like get, it's, our yeah. relationship is cool right now. I'm helping you, or whatever. But you need to go to the source. Yeah. I'm getting my answers from the source. You're right. You feel me? So you need to start to learn how to build your own relationship with God. Mm -hmm. But before people start treating idolizing you like me God. and everything, you yeah, feel exactly. me? Exactly. And that goes it, it goes back to like like when you pray, believing that God can actually like not only answer but satisfy you, mm -hmm. you know, and actually give you not only what you need but what you want. But what you want is not always what you need. You know? Yeah. Heart posture. Heart posture. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's it's deep trying to trying to even talk about God. 
That's why. That's why I said earlier. It's so. Like, it's uh, so intricate. There's so human many parts. Trying to explain God. Good luck. And his principles. And yeah. his. And his everything. Because there's so much. There's so much stuff. Like prayer. Prayer is a spiritual yeah. thing. I can't. I can't tell you why some things get answered and why some things don't. I can tell you what the Bible says about believing yeah. in your prayers and about like what will happen if like I if I believe full of well that I could tell that light in Jesus' name to speak to me right now like I did with my trophy <laughs> and I had no doubt. I believe in the it was for like yeah. a good reason. It would happen. Yeah, I don't think I got like enough. Time. You're looking <laughs> at the like crazy. Yeah. You feel <laughs> me? I don't think I got enough capacity yeah. to believe in my heart right now to make that happen. Yeah, but bro. like, it's just it's just so crazy the power that we've been given because like even the God said that Jesus said that we're going to be able to do greater works than Him. Yeah, Jesus was praying all the time. Yeah, that stuff was happening. He was believing full of heart because he he knows his God. He knows who he is. He lived with his father in heaven. So he's like, okay, well, if I pray for this, this is going to happen. Like when mm -hmm. he blessed the bread. You feel me? Yeah. If Jesus didn't believe that bread was going to multiply, would it have multiplied? Nah. 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 You feel me? Everyone still had to Easy. eat. Everyone was still hungry. Yeah. Would they have all died? <laughs> like, you feel me? They probably would have went home. Something, right? Yeah. You know, like, what, what if now that's, that's a whole miracle gone because Jesus didn't believe. Yeah, bro. You feel me? Like having power. There's so much, there's so much spiritual principle behind 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 the power of belief and faith and and just prayer. Like, like it's it's not explainable, but the principles are evident. And the fact of the matter is we will never be able to explain it, nor should we be able to, because like how you're saying, you should you can't get everything from a, a another man or another woman person in general if you do then what what makes you solidify your belief in god right like me if you understood everything i told you about there would be nothing left for you to go see god about right now you just coming to me right yeah literally the, it, it, I, <laughs> like you feel me <laughs> like yeah that's that's really how it, it's like god god's oh. really huh yeah another time on the on the what on the camera Oh. But we still got... Are you guys audio. still here? <laughs> they might. Hello. Well, maybe this will be on Spotify just for the audio version. Yeah. And we'll still here. So, video went out, but you guys want to go uh, to Spotify? Yeah, bro. Honestly, I think... Are you... I was I was basically wrapping up. Yeah. Um, I was just trying to... It's just so crazy how big God is. Yeah. It really is. And how big his principles are that are actually in this earth and how big... How big... If we just... if you, It's just so crazy that if we just believe yeah, bro. <laughs> if we believe in what we're praying for and, and remove doubt from our heart, and I made a video about how to remove doubt from your heart too. I said it in one that that one of the other videos, that, um, the last two videos I had made. But if we're able to remove doubt from our heart, like imagine the possibilities because God's going to give us what to pray for because He's going to change our heart to pray for what He wants us to pray for because Holy Spirit lives inside of us. Yeah, you know, we'll know what prayers to pray. Yeah, we're not going to be praying for nonsense. I'm not going to be like, yo, God, let me fly real quick. Like, I, I got to school. And you know he'll I mean? answer prayers before we pray them. Yeah, he will. Like, he's got to, like, I, right now, I'm, I've, I, not even right now, this whole season, this whole, I make it, I make it a practice to thank God for the success later in my life. You feel me? The stuff that I can't even see yet. Praise before my breakthrough. Yeah, I thank God for the success for my life, for the financial blessings. I thank God for the beautiful marriage I'm going to have with, em with Emily. Everything. I thank God. I thank God for all the things I cannot see because I know that He's faithful. He's going to do them. That's what. A, that's what my father does. My father. Indeed. 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 But man, God is crazy, y'all. You got to. God is. God, 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 God. <laughs> God is big. God, principles are big. God is big. God, everything. God, 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 do it big. God. Everything big. I don't know. Big but, on big. Yeah, big, big. Man, that's crazy. How we going big on big? My oh. mind, my mind is confuggled. I talk to the father, the father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, <laughs> hey. All right. <laughs> Listen, y'all. This guy is crazy. <laughs> I'm down one now. Yo, he's just so big. It's crazy. I'm about to start worshiping right now. What? I'll get, I'll, hey, I'll get, I'll get the, y'all you know, can't see me, but. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> hey, bro, love y'all. Be easy. Uh, I'll do the peace, but y'all can't see the peace, but it's not, nah, I'm doing no, the peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>